Welcome back children. This is a ninth video for chapter 8 Economy and Occupations and today we are studying the major industries in India. Our major industries can be uh, divided into four categories. First is metallurgic industries where the raw material is metallic ores. Okay, so they, these are steel, aluminium, copper, lead, zinc and manganese. The second industry could be, type of industry could be agro based where the raw material comes from agriculture like cotton, jute, sugar cane, sugar, pulp, uh, sorry paper, plywood, matchboxes, raisins, lark. Lark is a secretion on uh, a particular tree, uh, secretion from an insect, okay, in the forest, normally growing on the palash trees. And copra, that is coconut, dry coconut, coir, these comes from the coconut trees. And fish canning industries also are included under agro-based industries here. Petroleum and chemical industries, they produce petrol, oil, cement, chemicals mean cement, fertilizers and even salt. And the last one is mechanical and engineering goods, which could be mechanical automobile industries, that is machines, automobiles, consumer industries, okay, like a mixer, grinder and so many other fans, etc. The first industry is metallic industry. Now, we know where the metallic uh, mineral ores are located and they are in the uh, northeastern part of the peninsula, that is in the Chota Nagpur Plateau and adjoining areas like in Orissa, Bihar, uh, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Eastern Maharashtra, these are the places where metallic minerals are found and therefore the metallic minerals, these industries, metallic industries have come up near these uh, producing regions. Okay, also coal is a major raw material for metal industries and coal again is found in the regions of Chota Nagpur Plateau and adjoining areas. So most of these industries are located there. Reserves of metallic mineral and major metallurgic industries are found in the northeastern part that is in the Chota Nagpur Plateau. Coal is also located here. Okay, besides these, there are certain other places where other metallic industries have come up. Like in Rajasthan, we have copper, zinc and lead industries because Rajasthan is a leading producer of copper, lead and zinc. Then we have Karnataka where steel, manganese and aluminium. Aluminium is obtained from a mineral called bauxite. Then Tamil Nadu we have aluminium again so bauxite is found there. Talking about agro based industries, cotton, is, uh, cotton industries are normally located near the urban areas in order to know the changing fashion. But jute industry, sugar industries, they are concentrated mainly in the raw material producing region that is close to the fields. Why? Because sugarcane loses most of its weight when converted into sugar and jute requires submerging those stalks into water for months or many days together so that the fibers separate. Then paper, plywood and matchboxes, raisins, these come from forests. So these are forest based products and found normally concentrated near forested areas like of Madhya Pradesh. Then coir, copra and fish canning, all three will be found in the coastal regions because coconut trees are found there. Okay, fishing is carried out like could be Konkan areas, could be of Maharashtra, could be Kerala, could be Tamil Nadu. Okay, then petroleum and chemical industry, the third type of industry which processes petroleum and oil products. These places we have already studied, Digboy in Assam, Koyali, Kalol in Gujarat. Okay, and they are produced mainly near petroleum producing areas because it involves risk of transporting them in the interior. Then we have Mathura and Barawani which are located away from the coast. These two are petroleum uh, industries but located away from the coast. Cement industry is, uh, is also conditioned by availability of raw material. It requires mainly coal okay, and most of the coal is uh, lost in the process of cement production and therefore these industries are located near raw material. Could be a give reason why certain industries are located near raw material. So if they are heavy, bulky, weight losing, perishable, 
okay then they are situated near the raw material otherwise like automobile industries cotton textile industries are located near the cities okay to know the changing pattern demand changing fashions etc then salt industry mainly in gujarat rajasthan and tamil nadu and fertilizer and other industries are found in various parts of our country and the last type of industry is mechanical engineering goods they include all electrical gadgets automobiles consumer goods industries okay and they have come up almost all over india but mainly near big cities okay so with this we stop <coughs> we will come back with trade in the next video till then take care bye bye